group. So we've sorted our data into four groups based on the success criteria and the expectations and the standards. Um, I want to remind us all of our SMART goal. 80% of students will be proficient in all of our essential standards by the end of each semester. So first, let's talk about the successes that we see. Well, first of all, I noticed that 75% of your students were uh, proficient or above. I think that's really good. I also noticed that four of Chris's students moved from beginning to approaching the standard, um, but Lindsay had no students at the beginning level. Yeah, I noticed that too. Um, I also see that we have about 61% of your students proficient in this learning target, um, and 25% are exceeding. So this is really something that we should celebrate because our pre-assessments did not show this level of understanding. Um, what are some of the current focus areas? I noticed that I have three students still at that beginning level and two at the approaching level, and Lindsay, you have the same number of students, so I really think we should look at those students. Yeah, I noticed that too. Chris, how did you teach this learning target? Because none of your students are at the beginning level. Well, um, I started with a great story about the topic. Um, you know my grandpa? Yeah. Well, he was a farmer, and so during this time, I always heard stories about what he did and everything. So since we were learning about you know tools and stuff like that, I thought some of these stories would engage the students. So the students had some pictures, tools, and actual artifacts to look at. And so I did some modeling, showed them some different stations, um, and then had them analyze the different artifacts. Okay. Can you tell us more about the stations? Um, yeah, well, based on our last meeting, our PLC meeting, I knew what expectations and learning targets we wanted to focus on. Um, you know, we wanted to define the era, learn about the tools, um, analyze how the tools affected the people, and then relate it back to their lives and how you know, these tools have affected them. So we wanted to, them to essentially connect back to our lives. Well, I created the success criteria, and I really taught them what that meant first. Then the students were able to work with the success criteria and do a nice job. Also in each station, we just focused on one criteria at a time. I also had the students self-reflect on their understanding based upon the success criteria that they were taught. Well, that really seems powerful. Um, would you be willing to share the stations with us? Yeah. They seem like they'd help my students as well. And looking through the answers, I noticed that most of my students had a hard time defining and analyzing the technology. So I think they need some more practice with that. Awesome. I just saw us analyze and predict what the students will struggle with. Um, so how are we going to respond to those students who do not get it? We can do some of that flex grouping again. That was fun. I like that. Across the team or in the class? I think we should do it across the team. Well, we've done that, and, and they're doing it in all their other classes. Maybe we can think of some different ones. Well, let's look at our toolbox. What do we want to differentiate by content, process, etc.? Well, I guess we should try, try process this time around. I agree. Chris, I heard you describing a lot of differentiating through the process, and you saw the most growth from beginning students, so can we try some of those strategies like the station, success criteria, and modeling? Um, yeah, I could show you my stations, um, but what about the students that got it? Some of my students did really well. I don't want them to just sit around doing the same thing or doing nothing. Well, what might it look like to extend them? Well, I could create some sort of task for them and then extend it, you know, give something extra that they could do. Um, do. Uh, maybe we could work on the same concept, but come up with some new scenario or something like that they, they could work on. Um, I'll get in touch with Martha because I bet you she'll have some ideas on how we can extend this. I'm wondering, though, if this is the time to differentiate through content. They already got it, right? Can we move forward or maybe teach those nice-to-knows that we're really passionate about? That would be kind of cool. There were, um, was a great current event that connects to one of our standards. We could use that. Great. Okay, so we sorted the students. We found our successes in our areas of growth. Is this something we can all agree to do? And when will we do this? Um, what about Friday and Monday? Uh, we could do it on. We could reassess on Friday and Monday, and then maybe during block day um, of next week, we could um, reassess the students. I can do that. Awesome. This all sounds great. Thanks for working with us. Um, I really think we focused the PLC for critical questions today, and worked to see that all the students are going to succeed on the essential learning target. Um, this will help us reach our SMART goal. So I'll be sure to record it in our SMART goal organizer as action steps, and then record the results. So let's take a look at that planning, that extension activity for the students. Good job.